Alright guys, I'm Theo B, um, and today I'm going to be showing you something uh, that I've done with my Raspberry Pi and a motor and a joystick. Um, so basically, I've written some code that um, interprets the joystick movement into speed for the motor. Um, okay, first, let's have a quick run through the parts. Firstly, LiPo. This is a battery that's often used in um, remote control cars, um, remote control aeroplanes, quadcopters, that kind of thing, because um, it's quite light and then provides a lot of energy. Um, so this is going to be plugged into my ESC and providing power to the motor. You can also power the Pi from this. Um, you need to do some fiddling around with fuses and things so that you don't cook it, um, which I haven't got around to doing yet, so um, I might show you a video of that later. Uh, now, important thing, because it's a LiPo, you need a low voltage alarm. Um, you probably don't need it for this uh, specific thing, but um, given, given that I'm going to be using the LiPo for various other things, I thought I should get it, because LiPo explodes if you charge it too low. So this will beep before you do that, and um, you can use it to turn off all the stuff so that you don't set fire to your house. Um, next, the most important thing, an ESC and a uh, brushless motor. So um, this ESC is a car ESC, so it's got reverse um, and a brake. Um, bought both of these from Hobby King along with the uh, LiPo and the alarm. Um, brushless motor, lots of power, lots of energy, goes pretty fast. Um, so what the ESC does is it interprets the uh, PWM signals from the Pi into something that the motor can understand to control its speed. So uh, we've got quite a few wires coming out of it. One is the uh, motor, wait, sorry, one is the motor, uh, one is the LiPo, and one is that you connect to the transmitter, which in this case is the Pi. Next important thing, the Pi itself. Um, this is just a uh, Model B flash with Raspbian um, with the bit of code that I'm going to be running, which is written in C. Another important thing, the joystick. Um, so this is a SciTech gamepad thing that I was using with my PC to play some games. thought I could put it to a better use, doing some Raspberry Pi related gubbins. Um, so let's connect it all together and see how it works. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got the uh, ESC connected to two GPIO pins. One is ground and the other is one for the signal cable. Um, we've got the, yeah, basically everything set up as it was before. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just initialize the code that starts the PDO impulses. Um, so this tells the ESC that the throttle position is set to zero. And uh, now I just plug in the battery, and away we go. Okay, so uh, if, if you were looking at what happened there, um, motor gave a twitch, um, so the ESC sends stuff to say that everything's running. Um, then the ESC played a long beep to say that it detected neutral throttle position. Um, three beeps, which is for the cell number of my LiPo, um, and then a little happy tone that says everything's working. Um, okay, so the code is running. What I'm going to do is just, just show you how it works. Um, so let's move the throttle full on. Okay, so this is the uh, motor going whizzing around pretty fast. I would leave it down, but then uh, it would whack around on my desk and that wouldn't be good. Um, okay, and then it just slows down normally. Um, full reverse. And then some filling around in between. Um, now, because this is a car ESC, it's got a brake function, which means that if you wham the throttle, the throttle um, full on and then right back down, um, then the uh, motor stops suddenly. Um, and again, if I leave this on my desk, it'll bonk around and probably break the motor, which is never really a good thing. Um, it's quite robust, but who cares? Um, so this is, that's full on, um, then slam the throttle back, and the motor jumps really quite suddenly. Um, let's do that again. Full on, and then sudden brake. So that's quite useful for like drift and stuff. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the code. Okay, so now here um, we've got the code for the um, joystick control program. Um, so we've got we've got three files. We've got the main file, which has the main loop that does all the event handling. The joystick header file, which is entitled js.h, um, and that defines most of the functions that are called in main um, to do with the interpreting interpreting of the joystick axis. And that uses the uh, Linux joystick API, which is pretty complex to um, interface with. But there's quite a few good tutorials on the web, and I'll go through that in another video. We've also got the ESC header file. Um, which is basically uh, something that just um, starts up the ESC, um, and they're all called in main, uh, which will run now, and I'll and I'll show you the outputs. Okay, so we we can see that we've got um, uh, three different categories. There's the position the joysticks move to, the value to change the PWN, the pulse width modulation by, and the current pulse width. Um, okay, so the joystick move to is defined by the Linux API. Um, each position has, each joystick has a uh, position out of, I think it's 3,200, 700, 32,767 or something like that. 
Um, I'll show you that in a sec. Um, and then what I've got is I've got code that chain divides that by a certain number so that it um, puts it into a float, um, which you then add to the PWM value to change it. Um, the pulse width modulation is all controlled by Pigpio, which is a great program and really, really versatile. Um, so I'll show you that in a sec. But um, first, let's, let's look at what happens when I move the joystick. Okay, so here's the joystick. Um, I'm going to move it to uh, full on, um, and then we'll see what the code does. So uh, that's full on position. As you can see, it says the joystick's moved to minus 32,767, um, which is, yeah, all the way on. Um, so it then divides that by 65.534 um, to get the uh, PWM value to change it by. Um, and then you can see that the current PWM is 2000. Um, that's the max that the ESC takes. And so that's interpreted by the ESC as max throttle. Um, then that pops back to zero. Okay, and in the other direction, it's basically the same. Um, changes the PWM by minus 500, and then it, that gives it um, a thousand. Um, so that's a pretty handy thing. There's all sorts of values in between, and as you can see, it goes pretty quickly through all the stuff. Um, so that's entirely real time processing, and is all really pretty fast. Um, okay, so now we've done that, let's have a look at the actual code itself. Okay, so this is the uh, main.c file, um, and we've got the, the headers that it includes, which is the standard input output, pigpio.h, which is the pigpio header file, which um, is used for controlling the, G, the PWM, um, and then the two header files are mine. Um, okay, so this function here starts up the ESC, um, then we've got two variables that are used in opening the joystick. Um, this opens the joystick, calling a function that's defined in js.h. Um, yeah, and that literally just starts reading events from the slash dev slash input JSO. Um, and then this bit's the kind of key bit. Um, okay, so it loops through this, which is the while one. Um, while it's reading bytes from the joystick, which is this statement, um, you then, uh, if the joystick number, which is the number of the axes that's been moved, which in this case is one, um, it depends on your joystick entirely what this is. You'll have to play around and see what it is. Um, so JSE number one means that I move the left joystick in the Y direction. So move the left joystick up and down. Um, so if if it's that joystick that moves, um, change the value of JSE. Um, sorry, that that's incorrect. Um, there's a variable called change, which is in the ESE.h header file, um, which you change um, to... JSC value divided by 65.34. Um, JSC value is something that's in the API. Um, so really, yeah, it's, it's the number from zero to, no, from minus 32,767 to positive that. Um, and 65.534 is just the number that you divide it by to interpret it into um, a value between zero and 500 um, that you do that makes sense of the PWM stuff. Um, then you change that to PWM um, and then it prints all the stuff that we've seen later. Um, I've actually commented out the line that actually changes the PWM um, because I didn't want to be sending the motor spinning around on my desk. But if we uh, uncomment this now, um, it'll all go back to working. Um, okay, let's have a look at the joystick header file, which is the um, really interesting one. Uh, all of these things, I don't actually know how many of these are useful because I in included a bunch of stuff and then kind of got rid of it. So um, if you want to tell me in the comments which of that is actually any point having, um, that'd be great. So that's a global, vac global variable called axes, which I don't think I actually need as global anymore, but that was a leftover from something that I was doing earlier uh, that was fiddling around with all the different axes. Um, this is the function that opens the joystick. That's all just interfacing with API stuff. And this is all pretty simple. Um, this is a pretty handy thing that returns information about the joystick device. However, that's not really needed for this. Um, so I haven't actually included it in my main loop. Um, and then down here is the thing that I've now moved into the uh, other main file. And then quick look at esc.h. esc.h um, is this is the real pig bio stuff. Um, okay, so what we need to do is because it's an ESC, we need to set the range of the PWM, uh, which is anywhere between naught and twenty-five thousand, um, and the frequency that it sends down, and all of that. So that those two are things that you use for um, uh, initializing the P the PWM itself when you start pig bio. Um, neutral 
is the neutral position. Uh, depends on the calibration of the ESC, as I mentioned earlier. Pin is the pin that I'm doing it through, um, and then these are the two variables that I use in the um, main function. Um, okay, so this is the starting up of the uh, whoops, starting up of the ESC. Um, if it does, if it fails to start um, pig.io, then uh, break. Um, and then this sets the range and frequency to the variables I determined above. And uh, this sends up a uh, PWM pulse down the pin um, that's equal to the neutral throttle position that you calibrated it to earlier. So it's actually quite a simple bunch of stuff. Um, controlling the API is actually the really confusing bit. That took me a while to get stuff sorted. But if you're vaguely, this is all in C, um, and if you're vaguely competent in C, then uh, all of your stuff should be fine. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, this is part of my ongoing RC car project, and depending on how many people watch this video and stuff, how much demand there is, um, I might make another one that details all the other stuff that I'm working on as well. Um, but yeah, until, ne until next time, thanks very much for watching.